What's up y'all, Nether and Defender here, and today marks the beginning of a new series of reviews of a movie franchise that's getting its newest installment released right now. With the huge success of, well, all my videos relating to discussion about movies, reviews of movies, and even tributes of movies, I figured I'd go further in this direction and review a new franchise, which is the Mission Impossible franchise, with its newest installment, MI7 Dead Reckoning Part 1 having hit theaters just about now. Now something to be understood is I'm a newbie to this franchise and I've just gotten back from watching this for the first time so my review is probably going to be more or less different to what an average review would be on this movie. Also this review is going to be 100% spoiler free so at the end i'll give you my star rating and tell you whether you should check out this movie or not so let's jump right into it starting with the positives the direction for this movie was really good especially with that stealth scene which kept me on the edge of my seat for the entire duration that i watched it it never stopped moving from tense moment to tense moment to tense moment. It was just amazing to watch. And generally for this film, the action is pretty good and well executed. Tom Cruise and everyone else does a good job acting here. There's no bad acting, although there's also not really much great acting going on here. Which does evoke a theme of this movie in that there's definitely room for improvement with this movie. While the acting was good, nothing was great, and same goes for the action. While it was generally good, the action towards the end of the movie, the action towards the end of this movie consisted of some mediocre effects. The score is also evident of this theme throughout the movie which I find to be a mixed bag. At its best, it's deep and compelling within the revelation scenes, and at its worst, it's overdramatic enough in the scenes building attention to take you out of those scenes somewhat. The plot of the movie is basic as well and definitely sees room for improvement, although the twist was well done, as was the payoff with Ethan Hunt's loss of a friend. And with that, my general consensus of the movie is, while flawed and experimental, with room for improvement, it was still a good first outing, and at the end of the day, it was successful enough to guarantee itself a sequel. So at the end of the day, I rate this movie a 4 out of 5 stars. Now my question for you is, what did you think of the movie? Please feel free to leave a comment down below expressing your thoughts and opinions on the movie. Leave a like if you enjoyed my review, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more reviews from this channel. With that, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. So long for now.